A Prayer to Remember Who We Are in Christ by Meg Booker, read by Leah Martin. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Psalm 512. Injustice is a stripping, helpless feeling. Sometimes people simply don't like us for no real reason. Attacks or slights against us can be incredibly hurtful and unfair. But instead of getting caught up in the drama of these situations, it's important to remember who our real enemy is and his goal. Psalm 5, written by David, is an emotional plea for God to intervene in hard circumstances. David's desperate for God's help and prayerfully recalls the character of God as he empties his heart out to God. This lament, the NIV Study Bible Notes explains, is the psalmist's cry for help when his enemies spread malicious lies to destroy him. David so often did this, emptied his heart out to the Lord. In dramatic detail, he was unafraid to pour his soul out at the feet of God. His confidence God would hear, see, answer, and restore him was solid. Often when David cried out to God, he received a reminder of who God is. Our circumstances shift, but God never changes. We are right and wise to pour out all of our drama to him. In that intimate connection with him, we find a safe place to run to and be reminded of who God is and who we are in Christ Jesus. The intense reality of our enemy is he seeks to kill and destroy. However, Jesus came to give us life to the full, John 10.10. We can step out of those circles of injustice and persecution by running to God in prayer as David did. It won't always undo our situations, but it will most certainly give us the perspective we need to get through them. David wrote, But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing ever for joy. Spread your protection over them, and that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Psalm 511 David not only prayed for himself, but for all believers. Remember who God is. Remember Jesus and the power of his victory on the cross. Remember the unimaginable strength of the Holy Spirit residing in us through Christ. Follow his lead by prayerfully seeking him in his word, especially when we're under attack. The enemy will use weak moments to sneak into our vulnerabilities and cause conflict based on lies and resulting in isolation. Be aware by remembering God daily. We can't always see what's coming at us, but God goes before us preparing the way. When we seek him to prepare our hearts daily, he's faithful. When we run to him in moments of attack and injustice, he's faithful. When we are the ones who get caught in a weak moment and unjustly attack the character of another and then run to him to confess and repent, he is faithful to forgive and restore us. Remember our compassionate God. Choose to forgive forward and run to him who is always faithful, forgiving, and fair. Let's pray. Father, the world is ridiculously hard sometimes. There are days we feel attacked for no reason. Please give us your perspective in those situations. Help us to see others through your eyes, not through the sneaky lies of the enemy meant to stir us against each other and break us apart. Remind us no human being is perfect, but you are. You are unchanging, ever-present and everywhere, and all-knowing. You are love, mercy, justice, forgiveness, compassion, and goodness. Father, you are glorious. This is who you are. And you made us in your image and given us a purpose and a calling that draws us to you daily. When our character is attacked and we're tempted to be offended and unforgiving, open our eyes and soften our hearts to hear and embrace who you say we are. Filter our actions, words, and thoughts through the truth of your word, through your love, Father. May we be quick to forgive sensitive to love others, 
and prayerfully lift up those who unjustly and unfairly attack us. In Jesus' name, amen.